In today's video, how many calories do you need to burn each day to lose body fat? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and today I'm gonna break down and address the big elephant in the room. How many calories do you need to burn per day to lose body fat? Guys, I have spent my entire career figuring this question out because the idea of fat loss comes down to two things, okay? Our body, and listen closely when I say this, our body is always burning and storing fat, okay? That comes from directly my textbook, okay? Going to university and studying nutrition and exercise science, you learn some things about the human body that, you know, you hear a lot of nonsense on the internet these days, especially because everybody has a voice, and you hear this idea that, well, your body isn't burning fat under these certain conditions, like maybe when insulin is spiked. False. If you're in a caloric deficit, even if you spike your insulin, you are still burning body fat. In fact, your body is always breaking down body fat all day long, and your body is always storing it back, okay? This is what comes down to an equation, an equation of energy in, generally in the form of food and liquids that have calories, our body is constantly processing that, breaking it down and storing it in different tissues, such as muscles, such as fat, such as regenerating our cells. We typically think of this stuff as very binary, right? You're either losing fat or you're gaining fat. It's not the case. You're always doing both. And when you think about things from that perspective, your body is always storing fat, always breaking it down. Well, then what does it come down to? It comes down to the fact that are you taking in more than you are expelling, okay? And so I think a lot of people can get very, very particular about their approach to nutrition, about the training, about the cardio, because they feel like they need to be in a fat burning state or they need to be not in a fat storage state. I've got bad news for you. You're always in a fat storage state. Our bodies rely on fat, okay? For a lot of other things, other than making us look worse or be unhealthy, it acts as insulation, guys. It's basically energy stored in our body. So don't think of fat as good or bad. It just is what it is. Don't think of food as good or bad. It just is what it is. It is energy for our bodies. So when someone asks me a question like this, how many calories do you need to burn per day to lose body fat? The actual answer there is zero. You don't need to actively try to burn body fat. Your body is using body fat as fuel all day long. If you're just going for a walk, when you're sleeping, now fat is burned based on the intensity of the exercise. So when is the time when we are burning the most body fat, almost pure body fat? It's actually when we're sleeping. Yeah, so maybe focus on your sleep a little bit more. But when we're at rest, our body is using fat as fuel. It's oxidizing fat. When we are doing something explosive, running a sprint, hitting a baseball, jumping, playing a sport, our body is gonna be burning through carbohydrates. And I think a lot of people hear that and they think, well, I just won't eat carbohydrates. Well, that's not a good idea either, because guess what? Fat burns in a carbohydrate flame. That's right. Our body actually uses carbohydrates to burn body fat. It's a part of the fat loss process, oxidizing body fat. So really it comes down to, are you burning more calories throughout the day than you're taking in? If you've spent a lot of your life being overweight, you've spent a lot of your life consuming more calories than you're burning. It's not complicated. What is complicated is the human condition to focus on one thing versus the other. Guys, I couldn't express this more than I can right now. You need to focus on your daily routine, your weekly routine, what you're doing throughout the day. If we think back to the times in our life when we seem like we couldn't gain weight, I know I think back to like high school when I never sat still. I walked to school, I walked around campus all day, I played sports, I used to complain I couldn't gain weight. Then I hit my 20s and 30s, I got a desk job, and then I complained I couldn't lose weight. That damn metabolism. I promise you guys, it's not the metabolism, okay? It's our lifestyles. So where do you begin if you don't understand much of this? I've got a free calculator, guys. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna take in some information about your age, your kind of daily routine, even your sex, and it's gonna say, hey, this is a good place to start for your goals for the day for calories and macronutrients based on your goal. It's going to assume some things about you because it is a calculation. The best thing you could ever do is just start tracking. Okay. And you don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself when it comes to this, but if you want to lose body fat, you need to understand how much calories you're taking in per day. Okay. Other than an approach where you just drastically slash them. I see people praising certain diets because they go, well, 
all I do is, is eat steak and eggs and I lose body fat. Well, I promise you what you've done is you've completely changed your nutrition to where you have slashed your calories and you're losing body fat. And therefore you feel this is the right approach. While it may be the right approach for you, it's certainly not necessary. And this is where I love the idea that, yeah, I eat steak, I eat eggs. I also eat sugar donuts and pop tarts and I get leaner than anybody watching this video. Okay. And so through those experiences, I've learned what works best for everybody. Okay. While we all have individual preferences, it still comes down to the basics of calories in your activity throughout the day and being consistent for long periods of time, setting up and changing your routine. And that's why I love this free calculator. That's why I've made my videos guys. If you haven't seen my videos on walking to 10% body fat or how I get shredded through walking, it's been, I'm 48 years old now and I'm still a lifetime natural bodybuilder. And it's been, this process for me of going through all these different approaches. And I think there were times where I thought the approach has to be hard if you wanna look amazing. It's not the case, okay guys? I get up every day and I walk. Sometimes I walk two or three times a day depending on my goals. I did a bodybuilding show this year, which I won at 48 years old and I got lean and all I did was walk. That was my only form of cardio. I went to the gym to train to put on muscle. If you wanna put on muscle, you need a stimulus, resistance training. If you wanna lose body fat, you don't really need a stimulus. You just need an approach that allows for you to be in a caloric deficit throughout the day. Now, if you're a very sedentary person, it's probably gonna include cardio. I know the argument is like, well, technically you don't have to do cardio. You just have to eat less. But there is a point at which eating less is gonna have less of an effect on your body. It's also gonna be psychologically difficult because let's face it, our lives often revolve around food. I love eating. I love going out to eat. I love having a drink every now and then. Those calories add up. But if you're active throughout the day, it doesn't have to be a problem. So finding ways to be active. Now, if you are an active person, if you have a job that's very demanding and you still can't lose weight, this is where I find that, man, just make small tweaks to your diet. Some of the more common ones for me are, hey, just make sure you're getting enough protein throughout the day, okay? Also, try not to drink your calories. That's an easy way to take a lot of calories in. And then, you know, at times I'll say, maybe we avoid things like fried foods, super calorie dense foods. If you have a problem binge eating, maybe you try to work on the psychology of that. We actually have an in-house therapist that helps people with um, eating issues because of this, it's very common. So again, how many calories do you have to burn per day to lose body fat? Technically none, because your body is going to burn the calories for you, okay? We have a basal metabolic rate, a minimum amount of energy that our body is gonna burn throughout the day just to make us productive. You're burning calories when you sleep. What it comes down to is what you're putting in your mouth and what you're doing throughout the day. Figuring that out so that you can be consistently letting the body fat be in a negative situation where it has to be used to fuel your activities until you reach the, the look that you're after. All right, hopefully this answers the question of how many calories you need to burn each day to lose body fat. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.